welcome back to my channel so yeah this is a quick video a simple tutorial on how to make this kimono jacket yeah you guys this was a very simple tutorial because all i did was i joined my bodies i draft out a body simple bodice pattern and then i attached the flay to it yes very simple for this kimono all you need is your measurement for your shoulder points your upper bust points your bust points your waist points and then your round busts and your round waists you guys for the back pattern of this jacket i added only half an inch for the sewing allowance and then for the front pattern i added two inches or one and a half which i later took out you know to attach a band but you guys this video trust me it is very simple for the sleeve too um you just need your sleeve length and yes yeah, that's it if you want to achieve this particular kimono and you want yours to be longer all you have to do is make your body's pattern longer than mine i did 15 inches because i wanted it short and then the flay to finish up the length but then you too if you want it long longer than this go ahead, oh go ahead and do you bow <laughs> okay go ahead and do you bow if you want it longer if you want it shorter just do you just all you have to do is just increase the length of the bodice and then probably increase the length of the flay and you have your own jacket like it you can decide to style it in different ways um you can decide to attach a button at the base here so it will have this um it will close up or you can decide to style it with a belt yeah it's up to you so please do let me know if you like this video give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you like it yep and if you don't like it please let me know in the comment section below what you do like so i can make what you like i can give you what you like <laughs> get into the proper video guys so i'll go ahead and fold the brown paper i'll be using for this tutorial into two and once i am done i'll be chucking down the first point which is the shoulder point eight inches from that point i'll be taking my shoulder slopes i'll go down by one and a half inches that's for my shoulder slope and then i'll connect this to the neck point once that is done the next thing for me to do now is to take my bust point and then the waist point which is 15 inches bust point 10.5 inches and on those points, I like to chalk that down also on the middle part so I can con um, have a straight line. So I'll place my tape now from the shoulder slope down to get 8 inches from my armhole and once I get that 8 inches I'll connect both points with a straight line and then I'll put the curve the shoulder my armhole curve yeah so once I am done with that now I'll be moving down to my boss point or divide my round boss by four and then I'll chalk down that number on the boss point and then that same number, I'll be chucking that number too on my waist point because I want a straight line. I don't want this kimono to have shape. It's just going to run straight from the bust point straight to the waist point. And not forgetting to add half inches for my sewing allowance. You guys, this is the back pattern of the jacket. So... Okay guys so before i place the back pattern on this brown paper i'll go ahead and chalk out two inches first and then i'll rule a straight line before i go ahead to place the back pattern and then trace it out we are not adding any other thing apart from these two inches
now it's time for me to cut out the neck part so um the width for this kimono is going to be three um, 0.5 inches and then for the depth the neck depth for the back parts for the back pattern i'll be doing uh, 1.5 inches and for the front pattern three inches that's for the neck depth why the width both of them is 3.5 inches to cut out the fabric i'll be using for this tutorial so all i'm left to do now is place my pattern down on this fabric and then cut yeah so separately i'll be placing both the front um, pattern and the back pattern on the fabrics and then i'll trace this out carefully and cut if you're lucky enough to be using a fabric like this where you can be able to identify where the wrong side of the fabric is and the right side then good go ahead and place your fabric front facing front front side facing the front side and take your machine to sew by the half an inch sewing allowance we cleft on this The free part of this, we we'll just go ahead and calculate the round base. I got 18 inches um, because I didn't go ahead to calculate what this round. So, but then 18 plus 18 gives you 36. So now we know the round base is 36 inches. So to get your flay, you always make sure you divide your round base by four, which is 36 divided by four gives you nine, nine inches. So now when looking for my flay now, I'll be looking for nine inches. So guys, always remember to fold fabric into four or brown paper into four when you're chucking for flea so place your tape from the pointy edge and take and take point round and make sure when you calculate the points you've taken round you get what you're looking for like me now i calculated and i got and i said okay yeah it's nine inches i'll go ahead and cut this out before placing my tape again to take the length of the flea I place the pattern for the flay on my fabric um, after folding the fabric two into four place the pattern and then I trace this out so now what I'll do right now is I'll open up um, any part I want now on this flay and then I'll pin this to my um, top already made the top for the kimono already made I'll pin this remember front side facing front side I'll pin this and take it to my machine to join before I cut out the band for the kimono, I'll go ahead and place my tape now to calculate what I have round first so I don't cut too much or too less. So I place the tape and from the base to the neck part down to the base again and I got 60 inches for the length of um, the band. So yeah, I'll be cutting out a band as long as 60 inches and for the width 2 inches. To attach the band, make sure you notch the middle part on the band and then on your kimono to notch the middle part and from the middle now you can go ahead and sew out the sleeves now for our kimono for my kimono <laughs> um i'll place my tape now and calculate what i have on the armhole and then whatever i get whatever number i get i got nine inches that is what i'll be working with on my sleeves so the sleeves i like to go in by three inches and then i go down by five inches 
using my free hand or connect both points together or calculate if i'm able to get nine inches and the sewing allowance 9.5 and i'll place my tape to take my elbow points and then my length the length of the sleeves on the elbow points i'll be checking down my round elbow after dividing into two and then on the length of the sleeves i'll be checking down my round wrist after dividing it by two attaching the sleeve what is left for me to do right now is to hem all rough edges that's on the base and on the sleeves i'll be hemming those in you guys something happened so as i was done sewing and i was ironing this down guess what the iron did it burnt this little parts here it's very visible and you guys can see it but i went ahead to you know patch this up nothing is going to stop me from rocking and slay my kimono <laughs> guys whatever you want to do about this kimono to switch it up to something you want please do it because i style and you style so we all style we are all designers okay you guys thank you for watching this video from the beginning to the end i really do appreciate it i'll be seeing you guys on my next video like i said before there are no goodbyes on this channel just see you later so you know what it is <laughs>